Welcome to the panic button. I'm Nina. I'm Jesse. <laughs> Is using kids for likes a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Guess we're gonna find out. We have our opinions. People in the LGBTQ always use kids anyways, so using kids for likes, they're, they're gonna just assume that we're down with it. No. Because everyone else is, that queer kid stuff chick. I don't know what you said, but... The answer is we. It has become increasingly common for parents to not show their kids on social media or to blur out their faces, to put a little emoji over their face. And now I've noticed this in the influencer space, like with mommy bloggers and family bloggers and lifestyle bloggers. They started being very, very cautious when only a year ago, they were showing their kids' faces to millions and millions of followers. And now I'm even seeing it with my close personal friends who don't even have public pages with lots of followers, but they are still being very careful about what they show. They're blurring out their kids' faces. And I think that that is a very, very good thing. I don't think it's right. I think it's... There's a lot of people on social media and you don't know who they are. A lot of them. You have to think when you're putting your face on social media that some creep out there is to your face. Now you... I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. So you have to think about it this way. Am I okay with some creep I don't know to my kid's face? No. No, I'm not okay with that. Even, so I'm not okay with that. Even on the social media platform where it's like Facebook or Instagram or whatever, if your stuff is any bit public, that's available for the world to see and share and post. And even with the like human trafficking thing going on, if someone thinks mm -hmm. they can nab your kid, yeah, why would you want someone to have more material to show off to the world? It's creepy, it's crazy, and personally, I don't see any reason to do it, like to, to put your kids online. If you want to post a family picture and put emojis over their faces, okay, whatever. But I think you should be trying to protect your kids. Plus, there's a lot of things like if you have terrible <laughs> terrible pictures when you're a kid that your mm -hmm. parents are just posting all over the internet. <laughs> I grew up when Facebook was really popular for moms, so there's a lot of really bad pictures of me on my mom's Facebook. <laughs> Imagine not having consent to any of those pictures being released. I made my kids' social media famous and it was a huge, scary mistake. So the gist of the article is that they talk about this growing lifestyle mommy blogger. She has about 50,000 followers, I believe, and she made her two young kids famous over the last two years. But then in 2022, she had this wake up call because she heard the story about another mommy blogger who made her son famous and then realized that there were all of these accounts online who were downloading and stripping photos of her son and posting them as their own and trying to capitalize on his image when they weren't his family. And Katarina said, learning about that woman's experience was a wake up call. It literally sent a shiver up my spine. It never dawned on me that people out there who might mean my kids harm could be saving pictures of them onto their phones and doing whatever they want with them. People, but lady. How did you not know that there were bad people out there that are going to do harm to your kids, but you were giving all of their information out to millions of people? I feel like mm -hmm. people don't even think about that anymore. They don't, they don't realize that putting themselves on social media gives other people that they don't know that are bad access to them. It's like they don't even think about it anymore. It's just very willy-nilly. Well, because they're more obsessed with the views and the likes and everything to do with that. But, like... You want to post your dog on social media? Post your dog. Don't post a human. Yeah. There's always an opposite side to the positive. That's, that's all it is. It's her clout. Because people get tons and tons of views on cute baby videos. And, oh my god, your kids are so cute. But then there's an underlying side of all the creepy motherfuckers. Another mom in 2021 said that she wishes she had known sooner how innocent things can be used in not so innocent ways. Quote, I would post innocent photos of her in a bikini. Her three year old. Oh my god. Photos. What the fuck? Why? Why the fuck would you do that? I was never allowed to be in anything like a bikini for, like, obvious reasons. That's freaking, like, child predators. They shouldn't even make bikinis for kids, in my opinion. I think all kids should only have one pieces. That's so fucked up. I don't know about like, your what opinion. What kind of bubble are you living in that you don't realize, like, there are terrible people out there who want to sexualize your fucking kid, and you're just throwing your child out there to the wolves? Like, how do you not see that this is a bad thing? I had no idea there were bad people in the world because mommy and daddy put me in a bubble. I think they should have to wear one pieces. They should not make bikinis for kids. <sighs> it's just weird. You wouldn't make a Speedo for a kid, would you? What the fuck did you just say to me? Exactly. I, well, I mean, they're, they're <laughs> swimmers. There are child swimmers yeah, that but wear like, Speedos. I don't know, man. But even professional swimmers who are women don't wear bikinis. No but they do wear penises. 
That's my point, though. <laughs> like, you wouldn't let... I would never let my daughter out in a bikini until she was, like, 16, and then she could do what she wants with her body. But, like, up until then, you're in a one-piece. Amen. Her old daughter. I post innocent photos of her in a bikini, and now I just cringe when I look back because I feel like I was essentially just feeding her to child predators. Why? Why? Like, I even look at little three-year-old girls at the beach walking around in bikinis, and I'm like, oh, my God, please, no. There's weird people everywhere. It's like, be more careful. The world that we live in is so scary. Why would you risk that? It's why you don't post your address online. It's why you don't give out your phone number. Why would you give out your innocent child's information without their consent? Like, this is not Facebook 10 years ago where you were just sharing your, you know, baby's, you know, one-month-old photos to Aunt Margaret and your grandma. This is exploiting and capitalizing on your children without their knowledge or their consent. Experts are calling this Sharenting. Sharenting, which I think is hysterical. And this is widespread. The article also said that per a 2021 survey, over 75% of parents share their children's likeness online. And eight out of 10 parents have friends or followers on social media that they have never met in real life. Oh my God. Well, now I, I understand the uptick of on the internet. You can't say that. I mean, it makes sense because there are these women who use their kids specifically for cloud online. Oh, he's so cute. Jimmy's first day of kindergarten. But then it makes me think about those women, like the one chick I know, who literally like be like, I miss being pregnant. It was so great. And it's like the entire process to some of these people is all linked to that online persona. How many likes they can get, how many people can be like, oh, your kid's so cute, it's so great, I love it for you, you're such a good mom, when you're not even a good mom sometimes. You're I, such a good mother. Ellie is sweet. Yeah, and that feeds them with this uh, euphoria. Meanwhile, the person saying, oh, you're such a good mom is a predator who's like secretly messaging you and you're chatting with thinking that <clears> it's <throat> Karen from South Dakota when really he's just trying to get you to send your child's photos to him. Well, there's that person and then there's the other moms who aren't good moms, but they're saying that they're a good mom mm -hmm. because they want to give you the same level of confidence they wish they had. And so you're like, I'm a good mom, but you're off doing drugs in a trailer park while your uh, sister and her lesbian lover watch your baby. I just learned something the other day. <laughs> And it was that the majority of that's on the internet is filmed by the parents. And now I will say that woman I'm talking about with that kid, mm -hmm. her parents filmed her as a child doing things like that. And they did the same thing with the brother. I told you about that whole situation, put him in a cage downstairs, mm -hmm. rubber banded his balls. It was terrifying, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry if you weren't ready for that trigger warning. Wah, wah, wah. So that leads into this, is yeah. what I'm saying. And so you're either repeating the cycle in one way or you're repeating it in a different way. Either way, you're still damaging this child in one way or another. I'm not saying this is for everyone. This is just what I'm making connections with in my brain. Dude, the future is fucked because these children are going to grow up so fucked up and the only therapists are going to be affirming therapists and so no one's going to get help and everyone's just going to be crazy. If this one chick can post her kids and get clout, imagine how many kids. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. If you have a public Instagram page, who can just find you and follow you? It is very, very weird. How have we gotten so comfortable with this so quickly? We need to be very uncomfortable with this immediately, guys. The first generation of online kids has started to grow up, and they are already dealing with the consequences. And even though they are already dealing with some consequences, I'm sure that it is at a much lower level than the kids of today are going to have to deal with. The kids whose faces are blasted out on TikTok, the kids whose parents film them sitting on the toilet and post them on TikTok for millions of people to see. We don't know what- Oh, she just said that yep, parents film their child on the toilet and post it on TikTok and that's okay on TikTok. Why am I not surprised that that's okay on TikTok? I'm gonna have to tell you this and bleep this out. And it's so, so creepy. Yeah, see, this always links to something creepy. See, uh, a parent is filming their child on the toilet. A predator likes watching children that are naked on the toilet. You are their okay? parent. Majority of predators are men. Men who say they're women want to go into the bathroom to be creepy and watch women on the toilet. I, this is just how my brain goes. I, it just, like, the fact that people don't realize that people will take advantage of, predators will especially take advantage of anything available. Yeah. I guess that's my point with this is, it, you're, you're the parent, your responsibility is taking care of and protecting that child. Now, even if you think you're innocently just taking a video of your kid on the toilet, I don't know how you can think that's innocent, but either way, you're subjecting your child to internet attention they do not want and they do not deserve, and that should be illegal. 
they can't possibly understand. And they have no control over it. I mean, my, my hope in humanity is already gone, but that just this just brings it down more. Kids are fucked right now. Kids are totally fucked. Kids are fodder. Yeah. Yeah. For likes, attention, and money. I am so happy I don't have kids. I'm never going to have a kid. You do know what's happening with my generation. There are multiple articles about it. This is one from The Guardian. I was so embarrassed, I cried. Do parents share too much online? From first smiles to teenage experiments, a generation of children has had their every move posted by their parents. What can they do about it? Can you imagine growing up and being like a teenager or 18 and, and coming to the realization that all the shit all the like the photos and videos your parents took of you that were revealing were being looked at by predators and you had no choice in the matter well i mean at the end of the day that's just the truth for life that's so fucked like no matter where you are in life you're that's gonna fucked. end up you're gonna end up getting looked at by some predator somewhere yeah but if you were a child if you if you come to my parents posted me in a fucking bikini on the internet where predators were looking at it like, could you, can you imagine being, being a teenager and then coming to that realization that your parents did that to you without even giving a second thought? I kind of have a similar idea in my mind, yeah. To be honest with you, but yeah, I guess I get the image you're giving. Yeah. 18 was a very big, big, yeah. big, 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 big thing for me. Dude, that's fucked. Like, it just gives me the fucking ebgb. The first social media babies are growing up and they are horrified. How would you feel if millions of people watched your childhood tantrums? And that isn't even that weird. Like, parents post creepy stuff online. Imagine your 15-year-old daughter sees that. That friends at her school find these photos. Like, think more than... 100 likes ahead. I also saw this TikTok and it had a really important message on this point. Hey mom, hey dad. It's me, Ella. Well, a digital version of me, just a bit older. Amazing what technology can do these days. All you need are a couple of pictures, like the ones you share on social media, yeah, chill. where they can be taken and used by everybody. I know for you these pictures are just memories, but for others they are data. And for me, maybe the beginning of a horrible future. A future where my identity can be stolen just like that. Where I can go to prison for things that I would never do. Imagine my credit score being destroyed, Dad. Or my voice copied to scam you, Mom. Mom, I'm in trouble. I, I need you to send me money, please. So please, Mom. Please, Dad. Protect my virtual privacy. That's what I said in the beginning. They could do so much shit with your kid and you don't even know it. That's just the beginning of, like... That's not even the worst part. That's I mean, the, the that's, beginning of that's, it. That's, that's, like... That's not... I mean, that's bad, but it's not as bad... Is, as it could be. As it could be. The realities of how bad it could be is what they should be showing. Not your, your child's information can be taken and all this shit. Because, I, ah, so much worse. Why, why not exploit, like, expose that? Because if you bring up a controversial topic, then okay. you're in well, hot Well, we water. have to talk about things that people don't want to talk about in order to resolve and s solve things that are bad in this world. Do you that know people don't much... want to even, like, see. Do you know how much information people give out on social media? Mm -hmm. This is this is my whole point with it. They're not going to tell you about this, but I will. You put on social media the city you live in, the school your kid's going to when you post them in their uniform, and a, you're going to the parks, so you're posting pictures of it. Yeah. You know how easy it is for someone to track how regularly you do that, when you're doing it, where you're going, and grab your kid when you're not paying attention. It's scary, and that should be a reality to everyone who says, I live in this city, and oh, we're just having a fun day at this park. People can tell off pictures, people are creepy, and people will come and find you. When I was a kid, there was some creep taking pictures of me and my friend, and I mean a little kid. And luckily, that got taken care of. My point is, that is the small version of the bad things that can happen. Don't post your kids on social media.
probably don't post any specifics. You're putting everyone that you're posting at risk to that same level. You have no idea what these people are doing with what you post online. And as an adult, you can consent to that. You understand the risks. You can put boundaries. You can make your accounts private. But when you are a six-year-old little girl, you have no idea that your entire childhood is being blasted out to millions of people. You have no concept of that. Their innocence is being stripped away from them. And I know you might think, okay, you know, I'm not a mommy blogger. I'm not doing this. But still, you put your children out there. There are creeps. We see it every single day. It is terrifying, guys. And for those parents who decide to capitalize on their children's images and turn it into a whole brand, that is even worse. Like, it's, it's awful. Because not only do you sacrifice trust with your child, but you welcome millions of people and eyes into your home. Is that really something that we should be condoning or supporting? Like, look at all those child actors. Yeah, I couldn't imagine thinking that every good memory that I ever had was public knowledge. I have nothing to myself anymore. Who was it? No Aaron privacy. Carter, a bunch of those other people who their childhood was just exploited yeah. to the world. Yeah. And look at where they ended up. Like, dead, dead. Six feet underground? You would probably have a better list than I would of More people dust. who were child celebrities that died. They're dust. Mm-hmm. But when you go, once you go putting that information out there, I mean, kids have no consent over it. Mm-hmm. So anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think that people should be posting images and videos of their children online? Do you think it's okay? Let us know. Like and subscribe.